<laughs> G'day viewers, it's John Green from Green Ideas doing the renovation of the granary and the reason I thought it was very important to film this one is because it's an uh, it's a project that I think most people would think is out of their league or out of their abilities I don't think it's really that big a project except uh, you have to stay focused on how things will be supported once everything's supported properly it's actually quite secure you can fall what? <laughs> you can fall through the structure uh, and that's important to remember that uh, you know putting this floor in is something that you want to be very serious and focused about and uh, I'd like you to come and have a look at it as I'm doing it because I've never done it before and maybe you're thinking about doing something like this. This isn't inside a house. This is in a granary, or kind of a kind of a shed, barn, garage type place. It's a 300-year-old building. I don't think this wood is 300 years old. I think the wood is maybe 50 or 60, maybe 80 years old. But it uh, had to be fixed. Had to be replaced. And uh, you can come along now and check out how I do it. Ah, didn't expect this. First steps are doozy. <laughs> you can only go on this side. And that's safe over there? Sure. I think there will be enough wood to finish it. Look at that water that dripped. <laughs> okay. So, have a look around. We, we moved what we were storing here over to one side. And uh, this is the floor that's been taken out. It was so easy to pull out, it was unbelievable. I didn't even have to use any tools, I just pulled it up by hand. All of these screws had, oh sorry, all these nails had rusted out to a point where there's just a little rusty teat sticking up. You saw me hitting them with hammers in the last video. So this is all flat now, ready to go. I don't know if you can see there's a pond over here, a little puddle because the roof is still dripping, has to be fixed, but I need a floor to put the ladder on. <laughs> so, I've got my floor, my planks that I got, which I treated, because the building had termites. Uh, today, we're gonna add this uh, insulating layer. It's only two mils, would you believe it? But it's like corrugated uh, plastic. And uh, this is going to go underneath the floorboards and be the very first layer of insulation up here. Um, so film me doing it because if I fall through or something, it'll be a what not to do video. But if I, <laughs> if, I if everything's really good, then this will be a great video on how to do it right. Huh? So <laughs> the, the trick is you use the other floorboards to uh, make a gang plank or a gangway to get to where you want to be. All right, so I'll just throw this out there. There's no text or no writing on these ones. Are you not afraid because of the height? Um, it's not that high. But I keep in mind that I wouldn't die. <laughs> Maybe just be hurt. You know what I mean? 
know what I mean? <laughs> but no, what I'm trying to do is set it up properly. What I was doing before is sitting on uh, the beams hmm. to do what I had to do. Um, so I was down low and I was quite safe. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going to put these boards down mm -hmm. so I can just walk along there and that's going to be much, much safer. How many boards? Two. That's it? Uh, to start with and then I need to collect the oh, boards okay. and put them up against the wall. The thing is, I think... <laughs> This is the, the part that we haven't done yet. Is that as I. This has to keep moving because this plastic has to be taped up with the other pieces of plastic. I just don't to go too quickly. It should be alright. And I also work sitting down, so I'm not actually really standing up. You can just do this. <laughs> if you're scared. Or put three planks. Did you see? The, the edge isn't square. That is a surprise. That is not a surprise. <laughs> so I think it's slightly askew, but it's still straight. So. That's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to get another one and tape it up. Out here is cash. Yeah. Back. Ah, spider. No, it's all right. You will see it. Spider or cash? Cash. Oh. In the future. the real floor goes, once it goes down, mm -hmm. you won't notice any more that's just sitting on those. Sitting on the beams. Look at dead Irish sunlight. Enjoy it while it lasts. There it is a bit of it. I'm just using black silage tape to tape together the edges of the plastic. Actually, the plastic's so flexible and lightweight. I can just take one spot and try to do it as much as possible from one spot. I've never done this before, and if you're like me, you'd probably be pretty damn scared. I mean, look, it's an empty floor. <laughs> uh, that's pretty frightening. 
but at the same time, it's a challenge. When you think about it structurally, it's very straightforward. It's just a bunch of uh, ribs holding together this other set of ribs, <laughs> which I guess would be the, <laughs> the spine. Of course, if you had more room, you could probably do this over there. You don't have to put your life in danger. <laughs> Just for experience. We do a tiny bit over the edge. Over. I'm going to push this up around the edge like this uh, so the wood will go up against it and then up into the wall so it should uh, provide a wind barrier so there's no wind coming in the cracks that's the plan I didn't know it but silage tape is exactly the same tape, PVC tape, as uh, electrical tape. It's just much broader. That's all it is. All right. I have to do this in person. Mm -hmm. That's why I wore the, the flexi pants. <laughs> because the jeans are oh, so I have to hold on to something. Oh, do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, now push it out here. That's it. Yeah, okay. Like that? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the thing is, I'm we can cut it too. off later. Okay. We can cut it off later, which is fine. All right. Pretty happy with the position. Uh, I'll put my gloves on now. I'm not sticking this down with anything. Uh, I'm just going to let the, the weight of the boards do all the work. Of course, the boards themselves will be screwed down. And uh, a, one benefit of this slightly thinner Cory board is that I can see where the beams are. So I do one board at a time. I'm not going to screw them all in right now. I just want to show you how I'm going to do it. Right. so much for this edge I definitely want to fold it up. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Alright. Basically that's all there is to it. <laughs> so we put down the Cory board, paying attention to where the beams are um, and then we just position this start screwing them in you know one by one so you keep going along and making sure that you're always following where the beams are because like I said it's not square it's a little off kilt but um, yeah actually we'll get started on that we'll put a few boards in today I'll screw these all down and uh, 
we can basically get started on finishing this project. You can see where I'm standing now is quite safe. If you get nervous, you can do even four boards or whatever. <laughs> but the important thing is, um, when it's time to do the black plastic, you're going to need the flexibility of being able to move the, board, the plastic up and down. Look, there's already our first slater. Mm. That's the bane of the gardener. I don't know if it's a problem really, but they're everywhere. We haven't even put the floor down yet. and <laughs> It's a brand new floor made of plastic. There's already a slater there. Uh, I'll have to get rid of him. Alright, I'll go get the drill. I get the drill. Alright, and uh, <laughs> we'll get started on this. Okay. I got my trusty impact drill and 100 millimeter screws with a nice taper on the end. Uh, they have a kind of a pretty nice bite to them, but the important thing is the depth. Because these boards, I mean, maybe you could have used normal, uh, maybe five centimeter, two inch screws to put these boards in because the boards are only one inch thick. But at the end of the day, I'm worried because the wood that I'm screwing into is no longer as strong as it used to be. So I'm going to put this in. That, that, board down here, this is, what's that, I don't know, eight inches, and this thing's four. It's not going halfway, but it's going to do a pretty good job of keeping these boards secure, and I'll never have to worry about them lifting from people moving or jumping up and down on them. So I'll get started with them. I bought a, uh, 1,000 of these for 50 euros. I think that's a good deal. Alright. The first one is the only one that's a bit scary. Because I have to follow the contours of everything. Alright, this way. Once the few boards go down, it won't be so scary. Alright, can you push the, that wooden board? towards the, yeah, you can even hit it with a little hammer, <laughs> just to make sure it's going all the way, yeah, and then towards me, that's it, that's it, alright, it doesn't matter if this plastic thing is 100% square, it just doesn't You want to fold it over so you have more room? Yeah, I'll fold it, and also, you want to be able to see the. You want to see these supports because that's where the screws have to go. Mm -hmm. Right, screw number uno. I don't know how many screws to put per board. I mean, to put per thing. I think maybe just two. Well, I have a thousand screws, so I don't need to be stingy. Two ought to do it. you feel the board get pulled down because of this unthreaded portion of the screw that's where the board sits which is about an inch and then it physically just pulls it down with a tapered head up against whatever surface you're working on that was scary pretty good. All I have to do now is go along the whole edge and put screws in. But now the first board is there and actually starts being practical for things. <laughs> oh, I can scoot these along too. I only need one for my part. That's pretty good. Safety wise, that feels pretty decent. All right.
This is something that's not pleasant. I have to unscrew them and then hit them with the ha hit that with the hammer. There's about another centimeter it can still go ahead and up against this wall. Has to happen. It'll be for the benefit of the insulation. It has a tighter fit. that little hammer hit it this way towards the wall yeah perfect okay very good Tops. Let's draw it down. these planks because they're all rough cut none of them are that beautiful I just put the lighter colored side up so the room is a little lighter it's not much of a rule but something all right how's it look should it be the same try to hit it with the hammer length. it should but the room I think that's it. There is a hole now in the foil. It's okay. Okay. You can patch it up.
What's the distance between the boards? They're touching here. Okay. safer to put your legs down you know because then your center of uh, gravity is along this beam whereas if you try to hunch over and do stuff you could roll or fall backwards it can be pretty scary Alrighty. so you can't do too many boards at a time because then you might lose where this line is where the beam is because it's not perfectly straight that's why you should really kind of do one board at a time and then the next board even if you just sort of tack it down and then go along you can always put more screws later uh, but you won't be able to see this line later on when it just keeps going so obviously I'm off center uh, that's okay Let's do it again Whoa. what is there any wood there at all Here's a trick I saw online. If you screw uh, another screw next to the screw that won't come out, technically anyway, it holds onto the head and it pulls it up as you're screwing. Let's see if that works. Nah, it's not tight enough. I don't like to leave a screw anywhere. doesn't need to be there. And 
stick my arm under here and see what's going on. Uh, wow. Okay, the beam was the other direction. <laughs> That's what I mean. You can't tell. Once you get to like a foot, you just can't tell. All right. For a proper story. I can see it. I think I can put two more down.
come on. <laughs> yeah, that really gross bit. <laughs> Be careful, you're very close now. Yeah. Ah. It'll be safer and safer. Can I leave it like this? Sure, as long as enough of it's in the screen. Everything is in the screen. Sure. Because I have to pack the parcel. All right. Ah, I give you the earphones. The earphones. All right, that's pretty good. Now that I'm working on the side where the uh, floor is, it's much, much safer and much easier in some ways because I can put my tools anywhere I want and nothing bad's going to happen. I kind of noticed now, though, that not all the floorboards are the same thickness. So there's a bit of uneven surface. But I think by the time I finish putting all these boards down, it'll be a different story. Maybe later on I just have to hit it with a planer or something. Or maybe we cover it with something. So there's no point even worrying that there's a little bit of a discrepancy between one board to the next. Remember, this is all recycled wood. So I need to do the next layer of black. easier this time. Just getting started was the problem. I'm going to try to give you as good a perspective as possible but I'll show you me just putting the the, the uh, silage tape PVC tape onto the black edges taping this down and from this point I actually think it's going to be quite pleasant quite fun just in case the battery goes out or whatever um, maybe you don't have to watch all of the video but I personally think from this point It'll be much easier, and I might get most of this floor finished today. Personally, I like to work with earmuffs on anyway. I find it more relaxing.
Damn it. The scissors fell down, but I want to show you something. <laughs> to show you just how dangerous a workplace like this can be. See all that? Just an empty floor. There will be a floor here today. I promise. All right, check this out for danger zone. Well, here's all the floorboards that previously occupy, occupied that place. And look at this. The scissors fell down and stabbed themselves into this piece of wood. Imagine if that had been a dog or a cat. Huh. Yeah, so don't let kids hang around your workplace. Maybe a teenager. But young kids have a propensity for not paying attention. And a place like this could be a catastrophe. So...
Well, that's 200 screws so far. 200. <laughs> I'm happy I bought a thousand. It's getting a bit dark, so I'll turn the video off. I'm going to keep going for today. And tomorrow I'll film, I'll show you what I've, I've finished off. It's just getting a little dark. I don't know if there's much point filming it anymore. But you can see what's going on. You know, all of the wood is still a little wet, I think. So it's going to shrink a little. And then we might see some bigger gaps between the boards. That's no big deal. I've been trying to keep it as tight as possible. But thanks for watching anyway. My name's John Green. This is Green Ideas. And this is my renovation. So stay tuned.